I think it's a blessing for all of us because he was very humble. First of all, he asked to all of us to pray for him. And this is something incredible. The Holy Francesco was a very good man, so I hope he will be so good, so open for uh, all the world like Francesco. The Holy Pope is a meaningful leader for all of us, not just for the Catholic community. The new elected Pope represent devotion, the love of God, the love of peace, a holy modesty. <laughs> it's a very simple person, usually when we are in Buenos Aires, one of the biggest city, cardinal, archbishop, we expect a lot of uh, protocol, but it's one it was very simple. It came to open you the door, to prepare for you a coffee, like everyone. <laughs> very simple person, but, uh, but also very serious, very, uh, uh, very responsible. Yeah. So for us, Franciscan is a wonderful name, obviously, because Franciscus is the founder of the Franciscan Order, but also is the saint of the poverty, simplicity, uh, love for the poor, solidarity with the poor. So I think in the name there is a program and also I think he assigns a new era for the church. Очень часто бывает так, что Бог дает тебе что-то такое, чего ты не ожидал, но что на самом деле превосходит твои намерения, твои ожидания. Те слова, с которыми обратился к новоизбранному папе, один из настоятелей православных, православной церкви в Буэнос-Айресе, который вспомнил, что папа посещал православные приходы в дни торжеств Русской Православной Церкви, который выразил уверенность, что этот человек знает и любит восточную православную духовность. Эти слова вот практически показывают, что для этого Папа Православная Церковь не чужая. I think I think some Africans will be disappointed because I think Turkson was a big favorite and people were hoping that it would be Turkson and somebody spoke and some people spoke about the Archbishop of Durban here, Cardinal Napier. Um, um, so I think they, 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 they will be sort of, oh, well, we were hoping for a homeboy. Um, but, uh, but I think because of his experience, because he's different, because he brings something different, because he's from this part of the world, yeah, a moment of expectation, a moment of hope. Uh, an anticipation as well I and mean, people are going to wait uh, the fact that he's a Jesuit the first Jesuit Pope people are saying well, what does that mean what, what is that going to do to the to the papacy that that now suddenly there's a Jesuit uh, a Pope um, I think he needs to concentrate mostly on contraceptives being available to teenagers because we have lots of young people who are pregnant and HIV positive and so I think he should focus a lot on that kind of not the best when it comes to HIV and all of those things. Yeah, so it's going to be tough, but it's a good thing we've got a new Pope, different scope, maybe different views. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, he's not very uh, agree with the government right now, with the actual government in Argentina, with uh, uh, our president, with Cristina Kirchner, 
but uh, he's a very humble man and always uh, uh, helping the poor people. Uh, je l'ai trouvé uh, très humble. On est uh, assez surpris uh, qu'il vienne de Buenos Aires, mais on était très content. Uh, voilà, je pense qu'il va pouvoir changer les, les mentalités, les choses, et c'est bien. C'est ce que l'Église avait besoin.